What up folks, KUT here back with another video. Welcome back to the channel. Yeah, so some news came out last night. I saw somebody that I know on Instagram posted that Biz Marquee had died. And this is a rumor, so I'm gonna get that out right now. It's a rumor, um, his publicist came out later saying it is not true. So it's one of those cases, this happened once in a while where a celebrity will get pronounced dead. You know, it's kind of like an internet rumor, hoax or whatever. They get some people yelling here at the park. Everything's nice and quiet. And as soon as you start recording, people start yelling. But anyway, yeah, so um, Biz Marquis is alive. But that made me think, um, even though he's alive, um, rest in peace to all the other rappers out there, man. It's been plenty of rappers over the years, um, over the years that have passed, man. I was thinking back when the first one that I ever heard of, I think it was um, DJ Scott LaRock from Boogie Down Productions. Um, he was probably the first one I was a lot younger when I heard him, heard of him um, getting killed in New York City. And then um, just over the years, it's like many, many rappers now. I think it's over like 200 and something rappers. You know, we all know the Biggies, the Tupacs, Pop Smoke, um, uh, what's it, Prince Marky D, I believe, from the Fat Boys. Uh, man, just the dudes from the Beastie Boys, just many, many, many. And then other people like, like Buster Rhymes' his bodyguard, and like all throughout. And I'm just wondering, is that a, a culture thing? <laughs> is that a cultural thing? Is it just a hip hop thing where these, this, these deaths, some are natural, no doubt, some are natural. Some are under some strange circumstances. You know, um, this just makes you think. Like, I wonder if in, uh, in other genres of music, are the is the deaths up there like that, like in rock? Is there 200 something deaths in rock? Probably, the genre's been around longer, but hip hop just gets, you know, it gets put on like that, it gets put, you know, in the mainstream like that. And then even the younger boys, like XXXTentacion, like he's, he's dead and, you know, it's, um, you know, it's crazy, it's crazy. Like the number of um, deaths out there when it comes to hip hop music or the culture. So yeah, man, just wanted to bring you all this quick video. And I'm just gonna talk about music a little bit. Um, some of the latest projects I got, well, the latest one I picked up was um, Evidence, new album, Unlearning, volume one. It's dope, man. I like his slow flow. Um, production's tight, Alchemist is on some beats, Evidence produced, and some other producers. So I ordered, I did the pre-order, and I may unbox that for y'all. I did the pre-order and it came through in the mail, so. Yeah, man, Evidence is killing it right now. Um, always liked Evidence and Dilated Peoples, that whole crew. And dudes is nice, so. Yeah, man, it's just, um, it's just one of the projects I picked up recently. Uh, what else did I get? I got something else. I picked up J. Rude Damage. I finally got um, his first album, The Sun Rises in the East, on vinyl. I'm gonna do an unboxing. I'm gonna show you all that, too. I'm gonna show you some vinyl in these upcoming videos. So yeah, man, it's just um, a lot going on right now in the world. So y'all be sure to stay safe, do your thing, live long and prosper. All right, y'all. Peace.